Okay, this is problem 51 out of page 178. Our instructions are to determine whether the argument is valid or invalid, and I can compare the argument to a standard form or use the truth table to decide this. Um, the statement in the book reads, if Jose Macias is the manager, then Kevin Geis is the coach. If Kevin Geis is the coach, then Tim Wiseman is the umpire. Therefore, if Jose Macias is the manager, then Tim Wiseman is the umpire. So what I've done initially here is create three simple statements off of their compound statements. M being the statement Jose Macias is the manager. C is the statement Kevin Geis is the coach. U is the statement Tim Wiseman is the umpire. And now I'm going to translate the English in the book to a uh, logical argument. So the first statement, if Jose, Jose Macias is the manager, becomes if M, then Kevin Geis is the coach. If M, then C. Second proposition, if Kevin Geis is the coach, then Tim Wiseman is the umpire. And their conclusion is, therefore, if Jose Macias is the manager, then Tim Wiseman is the umpire. So this is simply the translation of, translation of the English into symbolic logic. And now we have to decide whether or not this um, statement is a logical argument or not. There's two ways to do this. The first is to draw a truth table of if proposition 1 and proposition 2, then conclusion. So that would mean we need to draw a truth table of if, if m then c and if c then u, then if m than you. If we were to construct the truth table for that and find out that the answer column was all trues, meaning that this statement was a tautology, then we can conclude this argument is valid. Another way to do it is just to compare to the table on page 155 and see if this is one of the valid standard forms of arguments. And if you look on page 155, you will notice that this is an example of the law of syllogism, and so therefore the argument is valid.